Hi guys, it's Michelle with The Southern Shell and I'm here to share, um, do a project share with you for a swap that I'm in for September and it's with Donna Dreams Times 3. Her and Judy uh, rotate each month on um, the swap. Last month Judy did it and we swapped tickets and this month it's Donna's and she had um, chose bookmarks and she chose bookmarks because it was very special uh, to her heart for because her mother loved to read and so I wanted to share with you the bookmarks that I have created okay let's start start with these now I did um, with everything happening today in the world, I just figured we, sometimes we just need to be reminded that we are loved. And um, so I wanted to, the, the whole focus on these bookmarks is on um, Corinthians 13. Um, and it's all about love. And so I have, um, this one says do all things in love. I have, used an embossing folder and this one is this one is my it's just a rose I'll take it out I guess you can see it a little bit better just a rose embossing folder um, I just I usually keep a, a paper with the embossed on top of it and this is actually lifestyle crafts and I took and I ran some actual, actually it was photo paper on through and embossed that on there and put it on the other side of this, um, this card. I used a tag punch on the top and then I went and I dug out some of my um, roses and I used some pink organza ribbon in through the hole and then I used some E6000 to attach my roses on there so that this can still sit inside a book and close with your rose on the top of it and still hold your page. I used some of my Distressed Oxide inks on this and I used the Victor, uh, Victorian Velvet on this and I just took it and I um, went around the edges with it on both sides and then with a very light hand I went over the top of my um, embossed flowers on there. So this is made several. Can I just I just enjoyed this so much. If I can get a page to sit it on and hold it up. I really like the way those turned out. So the next style that I did, I used my Graphic 45 and um, this one just says, Nobody Loves You Like Jesus. And each of these are a little bit different and I did some fussy cutting out of my Graphic 45 Cafe papers. I used my Distressed Oxide Smoke. I had it right in here. And I used that to go around my edges. And I used a brick um, embossing folder. Just like my rose one. And it's once again by Lifestyle Crafts. And I ran those same photo, that same photo paper through here. And each of these I popped up on a little bit of foam. And like this one says, keep your face always towards the sun sunshine and shadows will fall behind you. And then I have it where it has the little um, vintage woman holding her umbrella there, blocking the sun. This one just says the 
best things in life are sweet and it has some little sweets there a cake some little pies and some cupcakes here's a menu and a lady sitting at the outside cafe do anything but let it produce joy and i have two that are very similar for that and then another cafe menu and i just love the way those turned out and i used some gray organza on that and on a third style i used this embossing folder by Cuddlebug. Now Cuddlebug is, they're no longer, Cricut is no longer making the Cuddlebug. But this is a heart, heart embossing folder. Let's see here. You can see it a little better on there. And so I took that paper and I ran it on through there we go. with those hearts. I took the branch, trimmed it off, and I did a punch out of some fabric heart rose paper by um, Craft Perfect. On the back of this one is the First Corinthians. Um, the love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Once again, another May May stamp. So I tried to make this kind of look like um, bleeding hearts, and I'm I, the the flower. I just think they're absolutely gorgeous, but um, I, I think it looks just fine. Um, I'm so picky about my stuff, but I, I wanted it to be flat enough to put in a book. Otherwise, I would have just put more dimension on it. I did put a little, um, I used my art glitter glue to hold the branch down, but then I put a little bit of foam behind those hearts to pop them up a little bit. Now, looking at the pictures, um, the hearts, the, the bleeding heart flowers, they just don't have a lot of leaves on their branches. And so that bugs me because I want to throw some leaves on there but I'm gonna leave it alone. And I have this beautiful cording that I've made a tassel at the end. And so that can hang nicely in your book as well. So those are my bookmarks for Miss Donna. And um, I hope that you all enjoy them, whoever gets them. Lay them out again. So there'll be three in a pack. I will package these up and um, have pictures of them all packaged up and ready to go at the end of the video. So thank you once again for your time, taking time to watch my video. You don't know just how much that means to me that you do take time out of your day to spend it with me. Thank you again. Take care, God bless, be safe, and bye for now. So I wanted to show you, here's how I packaged it. Packaged the bookmarks. There's my bag topper and the bookmarks. I'll put them out of the bag. Now I always put a, a couple extra tags back here and some butterfly punches. But let me show you. Now I, I try to always have my bag that they're going in to be um, open on the bottom so that this can be removed and they can reuse this for what they want. My bag topper and my um, cardstock on the inside match so that that can be reused. I used a repositionable glue dots on these to um, make it easy for them to remove because I've used an embossing folder also on the um, the back of this. It's a 3D rose and it is also by Tim Holtz, um, 3D embossing folder. So, so 
once again this is going out to Donna dreams times three and I hope that you all go out there and check out her channel give her some love and let her know that I sent you I hope that you guys are all being safe know that I love you and I am so grateful that you are visiting my channel and taking time to watch my videos God bless stay safe and bye for now